Yep, so we changing these coils, six coils on this 2013 Lexus ES300. Got my brother here, Thomas, from the, um, what's the name of the auto club again? Scott Thomas Car Care Club, also known as Merchant Auto Club. All right, Merchant Auto Club. So you'll have his information at the bottom of this video if you want to reach out to him for any of his services. You need to tune up whatever you need. Get it done. Yo. Pitbull puppies playing. Yo. Oh. So then now I just start doing all this other stuff. I'm take my cool. car repairs. Cool. I gotta change this filter. I mean, that's really part of a tune-up also. When you're right. doing a tune-up, an entire tune-up is your coil packs, your spark plugs, your air filter, cabin air filter, PCV valve, and in some cases, EGR valve. Also, your fuel filter. And the oil. oil filter. And your oil change, yes. Mm -hmm. Oil change consists of oil filter and your however many quarts of oil specified for your vehicle. is removing the air intake uh, from the ES 300 300 300 Okay, so that's just a series of vacuum hoses and sensors, actuators. Yeah. I just relieved right there before I actually lift up this air intake. Mm -hmm. I gotta remember all these got love it.
magnet. Ooh. Performing the tune-up on a ES300 Lexus, and uh, after removing the coils and the plugs and the air intake, you know, because I did the front and the rear, not just the front like some people do. I did the front and the rear. You have to remove the air intake in order to do that on this vehicle. I find that I have oil on a couple of spark plugs and a couple of coils. All right, when you find oil, on your spark plugs or coils, this is telling you that you have a valve cover leak, all right? Which is, this is your valve cover, which is what your spark plugs and, and your coils sit inside of. There's a rubber seal going around it. There's also rubber grommets going around each one of these ports right here. So when the seals break, you get oil into the cylinders. All right, that will cause you to misfire. A wet spark plug will definitely misfire. A wet coil will definitely misfire. That fire at all. That's, why, so that's why my car was going slow and I have no acceleration. All right, basically. so this is an, another reason why it's important to get your tune up, you know, your maintenance done on time. So this way situations like that won't happen. Have you losing power and you're figuring out why. Oh, I just got a tune up. Yeah, you only got a partial tune up. You didn't get a full tune up. You didn't do what was supposed to be done you didn't, mm -hmm. you didn't do you didn't do it appropriately so because of that your car is now malfunctioning um <coughs> and that's what i'm here to rectify today yep. all right scott thomas car care club also known as merchant auto club call us at any time 646-675-4019 right. cool. yep uh, one thing i'm gonna say is that get the job done quickly like you took that off faster than the other dude. And I got the video to show it too. <laughs> nah, but yeah, it's good when you got somebody that get the job done in an efficient time and it don't take forever to get it done. You don't want the car sitting around. You got places to go, people to see, things to do. <laughs> All right. These may have had business deals with them over land contracts. Wait, oh. okay, you lease this land for this amount of time, X, Y, Z. Like Fox contract Woods. contract is up. Certain places. The contract is up. So the Indians oh. is coming in and saying now. Oh, the contract is up. We want our land yeah. back. We want our land back. And then they make a back. deal and they say, okay, we give your casino there or something. They, right. They make a deal with them. Right. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? When the contract is over, the contract is over. Yeah, it's like you have a lease on a property. Right. You lease to stay there for right. a year. You have to leave after a year. Right. So now, just because your contract was a hundred years, doesn't mean you ain't got to leave. <laughs> you still got to get out of here. Nice. These people you made that contract with still exist. They not dead. It's through the blood of their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They not dead. You tried to kill them all off. You tried to poison them. <laughs> you tried to this to them. You tried to that to them. But they still alive. Nope. Because your contract is up. Either that or you got to pay XYZ amount of dollars and blah, 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 yep. so on and so forth, which I have no idea what the hell's going on behind, behind them closed doors. Yep. So, yeah, we putting these coils back in now. <sighs> Spark plugs already secured up in there. Right, but you realize you still ain't do a complete tune up because there's no PCV valve here for me to change out for you. Well, we're gonna no... get to that once the money pick up. <laughs> this would like at least give me some acceleration, right? I mean, this is your PCV valve right here. Also, got should be one in the front and one in the rear, I believe. Maybe not. There's no more cars we have. Two of them blood. This is it, damn, it's all the way in the rear. How much would it be to swatch, pop that out? So I'll go get one. <laughs> right now, like, like, um, those is usually inexpensive. 
Like, I can get it for 10? Yeah, somewhere in that area. Oh, I don't know, go do that. That might be a good idea to yeah. change that out now while I'm here. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to come back to that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Let's do that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Jim, handle that one now, Jim. <laughs> that might be a good idea. All right. All right. And those blow by gases be trapped inside of your oil case. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want that to stay down there in your oil case. Why? Because it's going to blow the seal around your oil case, mm. your oil pan. Oil pan, right? Yeah. So they impart, created what they call a positive crankcase ventilation. Yeah. So what that does is opens and closes when the crankcase starts building a mm. certain amount of pressure. It opens up. Oh, release it. Yeah. It sends the them gases back into the top of your engine. Shut mm. <laughs> off and shake it, and it rattles. That means the valve is still functional. Okay. Okay. Because of that. We learning, we making mistakes in the process of learning. Yep. Some of us learn at a faster degree than others. This is what tells you whether or not your PCV valve is still okay. good or not. You take it out, you remove it, you shake it. If it rattles, that means the valve, the valve is still right. going up and down. <laughs> That's so, good. It operates off of pressure. All right. I heard of those, but I never really even saw one. That's crazy till now. <laughs> PC valve. PCV. PCV valve. Yeah. Positive. Oh. Crankcase ventilation. Positive crankcase ventilation. Yeah. There you go. You just learned a lesson. Look at that. Now, some of y'all probably didn't even learn that in auto school, but this is an auto school you can learn from. So here you go. Crazy clips. With my bro, Thomas, man, we give you that knowledge. Well, he give you that knowledge. I'm here learning with you. All right? Craig's clips. <laughs> complicated part is basically over and it was more or less getting that air intake off of it. Bro, that, that was a piece right there. It's not really complicated once you know where the bolts are. Oh is. yeah, explain that. We can go through that. Like, show me them bolts. <laughs> I mean, we can even, you can even be real. Like, I mean, there's two found? bolts on the rear of the air intake behind the um, <laughs> throttle body. You can see there go the two holes that the bolts go into. Yep. All right, those attach to a bracket, and this just basically supports the um, air intake, so this way it doesn't collapse. Of course not. That'll cause your engine to lose power. Mm. So it could have been a possible leak, but it ain't gonna have no leak no more. Mm. That was in there nice and tight. Okay. But this is to prevent a leak, basically. Yeah, I just removed it. So mm -hmm. in replacing it, being that I don't have any Loctite to replace it, um, utilizing the silver high temperature silicone to do the job of the Loctite. So this way it'll have a good seal, which is always a good idea when you're talking about compression. Vacuum. Have a good seal. Don't know your lines, no lines leaking. So, yo, y'all, we getting it done even with the chemtrail rain over here in New York. If y'all look at these clouds, they trying to tell us it's a fog, but it's like some misty fake rain. They don't create it. We can't even see the sky for the past three days. Literally, look in the sky. Usually, if it's rain, you see a cloud. Well, you don't see a, nothing a up there. Hurricane striking down in the southern part of the country. What are you doing, though? Mm -hmm. You don't know why. I don't really. Dang, yeah, I don't. It wasn't worth it. He know it wasn't worth it. So. 
Well, yeah, man. Threatening his life. You never know. They might have been threatening his life. Oh, I don't know, but he didn't say that. But, but the thing is, well, I don't know the person. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope you know. I know it all comes back. I ain't really even trying to. Whatever I do for people, ain't look, I know the returns coming back one way or another. So, I was helping that kid and he just did what he did, but he had to go for that time. Anyway, so, got those coils back on in the Bezac so that we could get some acceleration going because I wasn't having no acceleration at all. Oh. You ever got a throttle body cleaning? So we got the coils in. Coils is back in. Scroll them down. You wanna see how this power comes back? This car come back to life. Is it really worth the money I paid for it? <laughs> We're gonna find out. I guess it's done. Rain or shine, we on the grind. Uh, trust me, we tap dancing in and out of this rain. <laughs> I ain't got no poncho or nothing on either. And I am still dealing with the air induction system and an electrical system. Uh, matter of fact, take that towel and cover that battery up. Okay. Terminals is raining. If you want the rain, make sure you got your battery terminals covered. Don't want them getting wet and sparking up. Right. Water is the biggest conductor of electricity, so don't want to mess with that. It's like putting the pieces back together. <laughs> Everything is like a friggin' procedure to a puzzle. Yeah. See, that's what happens, y'all. Now watch out who fix your car. Some people be naming their cars. I'll come up with a name. Once she start roaring like I want to, then I'm gonna give her a name. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. We 
in there. Nah, for real, I got places to go, things to do, people to see. <laughs> people rent property and when they travel in, they run away in the house. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Bed and bath. Yeah. What's the air? Because people flying from the airport, they just come in and they're flying into the city. Whatever city around the world. Yep, y'all. So I got some Airbnb rooms in New York City. Y'all coming? Y'all want to come to New York? Anybody want to come here? Learn from my brother here on how to fix cars or whatever y'all want to build. Come through to New York. Airbnb it. Above and beneath, above and below. Get to that point, champ. Okay. Relax. Slow my break. Slow my break. So, so you just snug the nuts. You never really tighten, tighten them. Just kind of. Well, um, there's a torque value for each one of those. Oh. I don't know exactly the torque value, so I'm gonna hand tighten. Oh. Gradually. Oh. Little okay. by little. Oh, until you hear the car function up. Nah, I don't want to crack any of these. I don't want to crack this plastic. Remember, this is plastic. Yeah. So they ain't going to take but so much pressure. Yes, you can't go too tight. Man. Right. Exactly. See, in a lot of cases, I'm the kind of person I would use this on it again. Oh. Let's reseal it, typically. But I think that'd be overkill a lot of times. Oh. wrench yeah see but i'm trying to remember what else did i do to get my goddamn hand in there oh i climbed on top of your engine oh you climbed up on it yeah i missed that scene yeah <laughs> i climbed on top of your engine so that was the only way to really get my hand in there appropriately talking, you'll crack that motherfucking air intake. Mm. Yeah. I ain't trying to do all that. <laughs> all right, that's the end of that. Oh. That's the end of that, bite. Connecting veins and veins. arteries. Arteries, yeah. <laughs> That's a better example, yeah. Well, a mechanic is nothing but a doctor for cars. Mm -hmm. So, your car, you will be surprised how much of it was fashioned after the human body. For real. Mm. You would totally be surprised. The respiratory system. Lubrication system, mm. coolant system, all of these things your body has. Well, where do you think they got the idea from? Yeah. It ain't original. <laughs> they got it from your body.
what the fuck was it? This was looked like it was damaged at one point in time. They use something to try to stick it on and make it stay oh. on. Well, this car was an accident, but I don't know if the accident was that. Yo, you do tents on windows? I'm sure you do that. That's easy, right? I do, but I don't. You know, it's easy. It's easy. <coughs> it's easy. I need to do it myself. I charge for it. Yeah. Big fact, big fact. Detailing? Definitely charge for detailing your V. Let me get some tent. I don't like people looking at my car. I like people looking at my parts. I'll be trying to figure out who I'm riding with. <laughs> who by my side right now. Chapter is really only making room to open the door on another one. But it's a whole better situation for me. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Close the door on oh, one yeah. chapter, it opens the door on another one in reality. It does. That's the only way you could get to that next chapter. You gotta close that other one. Close it. Shut it down. Saying it was easy though. Especially with some shit poking me in your leg. What the fuck is throw your ass in the hole? Throw your ass in the motherfucking hole. Then the motherfucker doing a tune up on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the rapping mechanic. <laughs> Life's a bitch. Sometimes you go through shit with your bitch. <laughs> For real. Fix cars, trying to get with stars. I don't hang in bars, but I might have to. Just to rub elbows with some of your crew. Mm -hmm. Especially if they paying they dues. Cause mm -hmm. money is the thing that be making the moves. Or should I say making a move? You got a plan, you understand? Stay in the groove. No, that's like the first freestyle I heard from a mechanic ever in my life. I don't know about y'all. Somebody fixing the car on top of the car. <laughs> For one, this ain't no easy move. <laughs> really on top of the car. Like almost like he make it load of the car. Like, you know, he make it load of this. <laughs> something like, like that. Or something. <laughs> that's how we get that trap. <laughs> get all in a cat, all in a throat, and all in a back. <laughs> All on the belly. We ain't got to go to the telly. We do it on the street. No beat. Listening to sounds of workers banging their feet, banging their tools while I'm making my moves. Mm -hmm. 
We done with this yet, yeah, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, that shit hurt. That's the illness right there. Once, oh, fuck, that shit hurt. You got all kind of metal shit poking you in your fucking stomach, your nuts, Like you getting your stabbed. Leg. Damn, getting Real stabbed. Shit. Oh. What it is, what it is. <laughs> What's going on? I got a clean, look, stick your light up in there so you yeah. can see this. You see all that gooey, sticky oh, shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what's making, that's another thing that'll make you lose power, that. Oh, damn. You need the same cleaning that I just gave that man, yeah, yeah. you need that. Damn. All right, well, what are you going to do? That's This is your, your gasket. It's supposed to came up out of there too. But I'm glad it didn't in a way. But, um, I'm gonna clean that off. A little something, 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 something. something. Basically, this this will actually help the car to um help the throttle to open close. When you idle it, it'll take away that where it feel like it want to cut off while it's idling. Yeah. This will stop that from happening. Oh. Okay. See how I know you was going through that. You didn't tell me that. Right. You just see it. Like Cleaner. It's way cleaner. It's clean. <laughs> Basically, right? Big fucking difference yeah, there. It's gooey and black. Right. That's exactly what it was. It's gooey and black. When I saw a carbon buildup? Yes. Mm. That's exactly what that was. Carbon buildup. 
<laughs> now, now I don't even know what the idling problem was. That was it. It was idling way low, like close to zero. I mean, these electronic components do go bad over time too. Now oh. you do know that, right? This is controlled by an electronic solenoid. Oh, so it could have been that. Yeah. Oh. That can be that also. You understand what I'm saying? Me just cleaning it might not mm. restore functionality. Mm. You know what I mean? If the solenoid is no good, the solenoid is no good. But we'll know. I guess we'll figure that out. Well, yeah. We don't have it, uh, that sticky shit holding it from moving anymore. So if it goes back to that, right? that's a possibility. Right. That means you got to change your throttle. You see these two electronic components oh, those on two here? pieces. Yeah, it's, well, you can't. Well, you might be able to change this one out by itself. I see it do got two bolts that allow you to take it out, but I believe that might be the sensor side, and this is the side that controls the <coughs> actual um, throttle. <coughs> mm -hmm. This may be a, a whole different story when it comes to. Um, I got a computer reading. Do, you, do the computers usually tell you that when you do the setup? You connect the um, computer to the car. That's I mean, uh, it's supposed to give you some type of information if it's throwing a cold. Yeah, cold. It should tell you that it's out of range. Well, I got the codes. I got a previous code. I can show you on the phone that I had to take a picture of when I went to Pep Boys. They gave me a free reading. I believe that's what you call a potentiometer. Oh, and potentiometer. That's what that um, oh. the throttle is a potentiometer. Sensor that moves. Well, then, something to that effect.
still got an opening here and an opening here. I think these two are supposed to be connected. Oh. And this one in there. That's why he said it's a wide connection. Like no, but then you look at here and here and here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All three of these are supposed to be connected. <laughs> when you was laying on top of it, you know, you know. What's the hell? Oh. I forgot about the bolts, though. I ain't no more. They gone. Mm. Ain't put a couple left. Finish that part. It's all fine. I'll meet you somewhere and go like that. <laughs> it's like, okay, what is about that land that you want so bad? You just keep throwing my attention over there. My family, I got family from South Carolina, too. Any place with black people that's thriving, they trying to shut that down, boy. Oh, okay. Black people are striving down on this side. That's what they've been having a good for a lot of years. <laughs> good weather. Oh. And all other kind of shit. Yeah. So, that's to, to, to cause unrest amongst the people. Now they want to send some hurricanes over there. Yeah. Trying to mess it all up. Kill some people. Bring back some of the resources of the land. You know, that's how Republicans think. Start it or? Yes, sir. Start the car. All right. The moment we've been waiting for. You might get you a couple of little, little talk or two in the beginning because all that stuff sprayed down there. Should be all right now. Give us some gas. Don't stop. Keep giving us some gas. Job well done. Once again, Crace Clips Lexus 2013 Lexus ES300. Just changed the coils and the spark plugs. 
gonna take her for a little test ride and see how she do. And got a throttle body clean. Don't forget that. And the throttle body was clean too. I forgot that part. Yeah, yeah.